as you can see in the picture usually the radius server like a windows 2012 server will have the radius server software and the database in it but if you want to use one of the access points as the radius server and integrate that with the database of active directory we can do that as well using an arrow have access point so here i have a fresh installation of windows 2012 server the first step is to add the role of active directory domain services to role base features installation select the server here select active directory domain services second one next 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 install once the installation is complete close this window and then go to the notifications and promote this server to domain controller create a new forest this is a test server I would name it test server a local enter a password click next click next click next next install yeah once that is finished the server will restart once the server restart you can log in again and then we just need to create some user accounts go to active directory users and computers you can see the test server dot local domain here if you go to users for the aerohive ap to communicate with the active directory you need to create two accounts one is the ap admin account and the ap user account first we will create admin account create a user the name is hive ap admin username is hive ap admin set a password next go to computers right click delegate control click next add the user you just created hive ap admin yeah hive ap admin click ok next create a custom task delegate to delegate select only the following objects computer object create the object selected in the this folder click next read write yeah select these options click next finish the first account is done now we need to create another account another user i user i user next create a password yeah now we have the two user accounts here I have logged into my hive manager ng account it's zero hive hive manager ng 
and you need to have one access point which is not assigned to any network policy to be the radius server and communicate with that active directory so here I will go to configure create a new network policy ad test 1 click next create a new SSID ad test 1 select 802.1x enterprise new radius server group ad test 1 and here there are two options either external radius server or arrow hive radius server in this case one of the access points the one which I pointed out in the beginning is going to be the radius server so I'm going to select arrow hive radius server and then you can browse through uh, available access points to be the radius server so this is the one I'm going to use the AP330 select this and then select here and go to AAA server settings in AAA server settings yeah, it asks for many names AD test 1 select active directory and then add active directory servers let's say this is AD server win 2012 test server a dot local test server a dot local don't click the enable TLS encryption for now next you need to set the IP address of the active directory server here so 131.139 and then click update device right so the AP can resolve the domain test server a dot local click next now here we are going to use the two user accounts we created first user account is hive ap admin password save credentials click next yep that was successful next the next user is the hive ap user and also enter the password now we have successfully joined active directory click done you can see the active directory server information here and the domain yeah that is all done we just need to click save click save again and save again yeah. here you have all the settings of your SSID click save click next DNS test AD test AD we will use the active directory server as the DNS server 172.16.1.139 add click next and upload it's good to do a full configuration upload as we are going to upload the radius server certificates into the AP complete configuration upload perform upload now the AP is rebooting it will stay at this 72% uh, until it reconnects back to the high manage ng the access point has connected back you can see right now we have our radius server and an SSID the SSID is AD test 1 but the problem is 
now there is no user to authenticate against this is the active directory we need to create a user let's create a user called new user user ad and user ad create a simple password for that so click next yep we have added a user that's great now what we want to do is try to connect a user and monitor using Wireshark what's happening here and filter traffic not by LDAP but let's filter by IP address IP dot address the IP address of the AP access point 172.16.1.1296 yep. I will connect my user. This is the MacBook client. I'm going to connect to the SSID AD test one. You can see that there. And enter the username user AD, which is the last user we created, and the password. And the Wi Fi client is now connecting and it's connected. If you press option and click on the Wi-Fi icon you can see that the client has an IP address and also connected to channel 149 here we are looking at the LDAP packets from the Windows server when the client was connecting and I'm back on the high manager NG here if you go to clients there's only one client connected that's my test PC and the SSID is AD test 1 and if you want to see more details you can go into the client view yeah so that's it this client is connected successfully to the access point using the username user ad to authenticate to the, with the access point radius server thank you for watching the video